One thing about me, you might think I'm a little crazy. Never really been in a rush to take my dogs to a dog park. Just me personally. To each his own. I just see no real benefits to a dog park, in my personal opinion. I'm trying to raise a healthy dog. People get a puppy. And to each his own now. They want to rush and take their dog to the dog park. Don't even think about getting dogs full of vaccines. Don't think about the mental ramifications it can have having to come across a dog that may traumatize your dog, your puppy. All they want to do is hurry up and go to the dog park. It's so great. Only thing in my opinion dog park is good for is training your dog outside of it. Teaching them how to be neutral, how not to even care about dogs. I don't want my dogs playing with every dog. I don't want my dogs being intrigued by every dog. I want my dogs to be intrigued by me and my family. I want them to care about me and my family. That's it. Not playing with a whole bunch of other dogs. I know what's in my yard. I know that what's in my yard can't harm a dog. No parvo here. And again, each his own. You know, you might be saying, oh, you got this little puppy on a chain. Actually, me having this puppy on a tie it's for her safety, so she doesn't run off, go somewhere where she doesn't have to go. And this is only primarily while we're outside. Also teaches her boundaries. She stays in my vicinity. Doesn't run off from me. A lot of people have dogs that just run off from me. Wonder why. You gave your dog so much freedom at the beginning. Doesn't feel like it needs to even check with you to do something. Again, I'm not... A certified professional trainer. I'm just a random guy that likes talking about dogs. Likes playing with them. Dog enthusiast, you may say. Just my beliefs on things. Leave it. Come on. Let's go. Ah, come on. If I was really harming this dog... Well, this dog be wanting to come up to me. No. No, I wouldn't. She'd be scared of me. She's not scared of me. Because I give her rules, boundaries. That doesn't make me a bad owner. It actually makes me a great owner. So when she becomes an adult dog, she won't just be running out biting people's dogs. She'll listen to me when we out on walks, when we out doing things. All those things matter. All those things help to shave behaviors. And it starts at this age. Little puppies. Seven weeks old. We come out here. Have a good time for the little time that we have. And she enjoys it. Runs around. Plays around. She enjoys it. Again. Seven weeks old. I work on things to build up. Your character. Build up nerves. Hey, some more, please. Look at that. Seven weeks old, not afraid to climb. Good girl, sit. Yes, sit. Yes. Not afraid. All right, let's go. All types of things. This is how you shape your puppies. My puppies are never scared of fireworks. My dogs are never scared of fireworks on the outside. Exactly. They come towards the sounds. They hear the sound, they come towards it. They don't run from it. They don't run from it. Not at all. Something big. They go to it. They don't run from it.
these are the things that I do. Hear the sounds, sounds of the birds. All these things, good for the puppy. It's good for the puppy. It's not just all bite work. It's not just all pressure. It's things that let you know, like, hey, it's okay to learn new things. And even if it does frighten you a little bit, we're gonna get through it together. So you don't have to be frightened. Cars passing by, other dogs barking. All these things help shape the dog. All these things help shape your puppies and your dogs. Moral of the story, don't be in a rush. Take your dogs to the bottom park. Look at that. She goes to it. Not away from it. Crazy dogs barking. Watch this recall. S'mores, come. Look at that. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Recall. Distractions. You guys have a wonderful day. Say bye, S'mores.